Buddy Brian here. Man, it's 7 o'clock here in Nashville. The sun is high in the sky, man. I just want to thank the Lord for this opportunity to, to do what we enjoy doing and bless our endeavors today because today's $100 bill day. You know what that means. But yeah, Lord, just thank you and praise your holy name. And man, it's just good to be alive. It's it's good to be alive today. I'll tell you what. Thank you, Jesus. And, man, we'll just see what we can get into today. You never know. Hey, Kid Rock was at Santa's last night. We missed him. But, you know, he likes to come chill with the junk stars. I got a feeling he'll roll through here today. And, you know, I might get a clip or two old Kid Rock having a Heineken. Don't never know. See ya. Last night, I was indulging my hobby of dumpster diving, going through all the good stuff that people left. Man, and I hit the jackpot. You know, I like to say, we don't sell junk, we sell nostalgia. And as far as nostalgia and history goes, you don't get no bigger than this. Check it out. On August 6, 1945, an American B-29 bomber detonated the world's first atomic bomb over the city of Hiroshima. On August 7th, the headline said, A-bomb staggers nips. Check the date, August 7th, 1945. That's not even the coolest part. As I got to digging down through, a feller by the name of Henry McElroy worked at Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Now, if you don't know what that is, that is where they developed the atomic bomb. He's got newspaper clippings and photographs from where he was there. He was part of history. Now, I'm not a big fan of history because it's mostly lies. However, man, the evidence is right here, man. I love this right here. It says, it says the press and radio give them praise for their part in the making of the atomic bomb because, you know, they kept it a secret. It was vital. Some people say, well, why aren't we... Why didn't we drop the atomic bomb on Japan? You know why? Because it could have possibly taken 200,000 American lives plus half a million Japanese lives and would have devastated the mainland. Well, I've heard people say, well, why did we drop two? Because this reason. It was Fat Boy, Fat Man, and Little Boy. Little Boy and Fat Man, they were two different designs, two different separate teams working on two designs for the same bomb. Man, check this out. Declassified Oak Ridge, golly. Man, I, I'm telling you, never mind what your teacher told you. Go dig in a dumpster. You want to know the truth? The truth's out there. As a matter of fact, it's probably in a dumpster somewhere. Hey, I'm telling you right now, man. Hint, pictures of Henry McElroy, 1929. Boom, McElroy on his first deployment in Europe. Man, I'm telling you. Hi, here's a text. This is funny. Hey, the guy worked in a field dealing with radioactivity, and when he was all said and done, got him a job as an x ray technician. It makes sense to me. Wow, man. I, I'm just telling you. I just, I won't say that. But Henry McElroy, you are an American hero. Help put an end to World War II. And, and I just, man, when I see things like this, it just, see, look, this newsmen from all over besiege Oak Ridge for stories on the atomic bomb. Boom. Secrecy became a habit. Boom. Man, when you wonder why you're, why well, ain't the government telling us this, this, this? Because you know what? The only way three people can keep the secrets is two of them dead. So, you know, I mean, it's kind of a catch-22. Uh, look here, man. This is just... It shows the houses that they lived in in Oak Ridge. Prefabrication answers Oak Ridge houses. Guess what else came of it? The double-wide trailer. Woo-hoo! Boom. I'm telling you. Necessity is the mother of invention. Man, guys, you gotta check this out. They had a basic gas ration, and the blue one is a supplemental gas ration. Look, then the newspaper clipping. 
Bam. Heavily guarded gates at Oak Ridge. Nobody really knowing why just yet, but the gates are heavily guarded. And then you got my Oak Ridge, Tennessee resident. You know, I'd say you had to show you. Look at this newspaper headline. Oak Ridge attacks Jap Japanese. Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Physicists from all over the country working to a means to an end. A means to an end. And, and did you know when exploding an atomic bomb, it didn't actually hit the ground. They explode a, a, an atomic weapon over a city to do maximum damage. And, and you know, it's... You know, I, I don't always agree what governments do. I don't believe in war, I, I think. But at that point, I believe that the best decision was made. I mean, it, I believe it would have devastated the Japanese, the island of Japan, for us to have to take it, you know, with the ground invasion. I, I believe, you know, two bombs, it's over. Let's move on from this. Hitler's dead. Let's, let's move on. Man, this is a picture of Mr. Michael Roy and his colleague at Oak Ridge. It says British 21st Army Group Headquarters, Germany, August 8th. Troops of the British Task Force entered a small sick factory north of Hanover four months ago and found plans for a German atomic bomb designed to wipe out everything within six mile radius. The Germans were believed almost to have completed work on the bomb in a two-room laboratory in the heart of the factory. And you just don't know how close we came. Let me end all this by saying hats off to the American people back in the, the 40s. They just went through the Great Depression and man, they banded together to just man. I, and hats off to this man. Henry McElroy, physicist, military, and true American patriot. Means to an end. And what was the end? After years and years of war, peace. Boom.